Creating a fulcrum is the same as a snare drum stick. Divide the stick into thirds. Pinch the stick between the thumb and index finger. Put your fingers around the stick. Since a mallet instrument and a uh, yarn covered mallet don't produce rebound, you're going to have to use wrist muscles to accomplish the stroke rather than finger muscles. Wrist to accomplish the stroke, not fingers. Let's talk about where to strike the keyboard bars. You have two possible areas to strike. Your first choice, what we call the primary striking area, is directly over the center of the bar, right over the resonators. That's your first choice. The secondary striking position is on the extreme edge of the sharps or flats. In this case, you use the ends of the bars when you're playing a fast passage on keyboard, for example, fast 16th notes or sex tuplets, in which case the performer does not have enough time to reach into the center of the bar. So first choice, center of the bar, both on sharps and flats and on the naturals. Secondary choice, if the music is fast, is the extreme edge of the bar. Strokes four keyboard instruments, two basic stroke types. The first is a full stroke. Same definition as in snare drumming. Mount starts up, strikes the instrument, returns to the original position. A legato stroke is a full stroke with a little bit of extra lift at the end. We're going to think of this in three parts. Strike, lift, and reset. Let's talk about rolls on mallet keyboard instruments. Rolls should be single sticked, not double sticked. They should be single stroke rolls and not double stroke rolls. Play nice full strokes. Lift the sound out of the instrument. Play in the center of the bar when possible. Rolls on keyboard instruments should be unmetered. That is to say that students should not be thinking of the 16th note pattern when performing the rolls. The best analogy is to liken a note on marimba, rolled, to be sustained, smooth, and legato, much like a wind player playing long tones, or a vocalist singing a single pitch. Should be as smooth and legato as possible. Now the speed of the rolls change with the register that the person is performing. Much like changing airspeed on a brass instrument. You buzz your lips and the airspeed is slower at the low end and you buzz faster and have a faster stream of air at the high end. When moving on the keyboard from note to note, should move with the hand physically nearest to the next note. So if we're rolling and the next note is to our right, we lead with our right hand. If it's to the left, lead with our left hand. 